back to another review. So I'm honestly shocked that I never reviewed this. I thought I did. Like, was positive of it, went back through my videos, and apparently didn't. <laughs> so I'm glad that I didn't go through my whole second bottle of this, because otherwise, uh, would have apparently never done a review of it and would have just used it up. So this is the Hemp's Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. Um, it's just like they're a body moisturizer. This is the small size. <laughs> This is $8 for this size, mind you. 20 bucks for the full size. You've seen the big pump bottles. That's the $20 one. My mom has the $20 one of this exact set, actually. So even if I had used it up, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, truly. But I was just so convinced that I had already done this one that I was like, really? I haven't? The only ones I did were that glittery one, the regular one, and the sponge sugar one? Really? Oh my god, I need to do the rest of them. I didn't realize I never got to the others, so... Look forward to those, but anyway, yeah, let us put some of this on, because the air is very dry, my skin is drier, I'm needing some help, so, oh my god, that smells so good. So obviously you smell pineapple pretty strongly with this, so if you're not a fan of pineapple, you won't like this. Now, I know I've said that I'm very hit or miss with pineapple, but if it's sweet pineapple, I love it. If it's sour pineapple, I want no part of it. But this is sweet pineapple, so I'm like all about this one. And I'm not entirely sure what kind of melon that is. Like, I don't think it's honeydew. It's definitely not watermelon. Like, maybe it's cantaloupe, but it doesn't smell like cantaloupe to me. But it is some kind of a melon. I will give it that, but I can't put my finger on what kind. Oh my god, it smells so good. And something about it almost smells bubblegummy to me as well. But I like that about it. <laughs> so, oh, it like is so rich and moisturizing. And while, yes, it does leave a little bit of greasy behind, it's nowhere near as bad as most lotions are. Um, it's not quite as good as Bath & Body Works with sinking in fully all of the way quickly. But I mean, this is... I mean, you can kind of see the sheen, like, yeah, there's some still there, but it is nowhere near as bad as most. I can hang with this level. This is fine for me. I just wish this stuff weren't so damn spendy, but I see why it is, because quality-wise, it is tops. I adore this stuff, and this scent especially, I really love. So for me, this gets a perfect 5 out of 5. Don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love it, so... Anyway, highly recommend it. Yeah, it's kind of a summery scent, but you know what? There's no reason you can't use that year-round. Besides, it's nice to have that little bit of summer fantasy when it's cold winter time, you know? You know, so. Anyway, that is it for this one, guys. <laughs> Sorry that it was so long overdue, because I truly thought that I did this one literally years ago, and I guess I didn't. <laughs> anyway, that is it for this one. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below, and please do, since the engagement helps me in the algorithm. Um, have you used this one before? What did you think of it, good, bad, or otherwise? Anything about anything, leave it all down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more is all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.